In this next video, we're going to talk about the node.tpl.php template and how it relates to the page in general. We'll also look at how to override it in a variety of circumstances. As a first step, let's go ahead and make sure that we're using a node template file inside of our theme. Now in a previous video, we set up a Bartik sub-theme called bat overrides, which you see right here in our site's all themes directory. And what we're going to do is go ahead and copy the node.tpl.php file from Bartik. So go ahead and go to your themes, Bartik directory, and under templates, you'll see the node.tpl.php. Go ahead and copy that and paste it into your bat overrides templates folder right here. And then just like with previous examples, if we want our template file to get registered, we need to clear our cache and rebuild the theme registry. So go ahead and jump back to your browser and go ahead and flush all caches. You can either do this through admin menu or through the performance page. Now let's make sure that our node template is being pulled into our theme. So I'm going to go ahead and use the theme developer module and click this checkbox here. And then we're going to click on a node. We just see here that we clicked on a field, but we can jump up one level to node. So let's go ahead and click node here. And it says here that we are using the template file that we just copied into our bat overrides folder. So things are going good here. So one thing I wanted to point out is that on this home page, what we're seeing are node teasers. These are just partial displays of a full node. And if we go to a node page as well, I'm going to go ahead and click on the title of one of these nodes to jump to it. And then I'm going to inspect it with the theme developer module. Again, I clicked on a field, but I can jump back up to node by clicking on node. We see that we're using the same template file for a full node page as we are for a node teaser. So when it comes to modifying the node, we're not building separate node templates for teaser modes and for full node modes. So this is just something to recognize as we work through the node template file. Okay, go ahead and jump back to your theme directory. And in your bat overrides theme, go ahead and open up the node tpl.php file. And let's go ahead and take a look at where the node template starts and where it ends. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and scroll up to the top. Just like at the beginning of any template file, there is a list of variables that you can use within the template in order to either conditionally display or hide certain parts or to actually print out onto the page itself. Now, if we did a search here for teaser, I'm going to go ahead and, and do a search. You see here that we have some variables that we can work with to track whether we're using a teaser mode in this particular rendering of the node template or not. So no teaser here. Let's go ahead and scroll down. In particular, we're looking for this item right here, which is a flag for the teaser state. So this means that if teaser is true, this is a teaser mode. And if we scroll down the code, we can see where this is being used right here to check to see if it's a teaser. And if it is, then we're unsetting a variable because we don't want it to display in our node. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll up to the top of the HTML here. We see that surrounding the entire template is a div with the ID node dash and then the node ID. So this gives us a useful selector to use when we're styling this particular area of the page. In addition, there are a number of classes that get pulled in through pre-processing functions that get added to this outer div, again, to make it easier to stylize and select certain areas of the node template. And then we see the title prefix being rendered. So if this isn't a page, and this is actually a node that's being rendered as a part of a list of other with other nodes, then we're gonna go ahead and print out a heading two with the title along with the URL surrounding the title. Then we're going to render the title suffix if there is one. And then we're going to display the submitted data. And this is if display submitted is true. So this means that we have selected to display the submitted data, which says this node was submitted by this user at this time. 
And if we have that toggled on, then we'll go ahead and print out information about the user that submitted it. We can go ahead and scroll down. And then you see here we're printing the content. We have a couple of bits up at the top here that use the hide function, which will print out the content in a way that's not visible. But if someone is using a screen reader, it will display it in a particular way that will make it readable to the visually impaired. And then we have some links that are rendered at the bottom of the content. And then finally, we're rendering comments based on if this particular node has comments and if we're displaying comments here. Okay, so that's the range of what happens inside of our node template. And just like we analyze this with the page template file, this gives us a sense of what situations would be appropriate for modifying the node template in a particular situation. Now there are two ways we can override a node template for a specific situation, and that's through the node ID and through the node type. This is vastly simpler than the situations that we could work with with the page template where we could change the template based on the path, the internal path of the page. With node templates, it's much more simple. And if we want to extend this to include more specific conditions, then we'll need to add that through some logic in our pre-processing function. And we'll cover that in a later video. So the base template is node.tpl.php. And just like we discussed, this is used for full node page templates, also for node teasers that display in lists, for example, on the default home page or in a view. If we have a node that where the internal path to the node is node slash 34, now this is the internal path, not an alias, then we have two options. We could specify a node template based on this particular node, by separating out the node ID and node with two hyphens, so node two hyphens 34.tpl.php. Or if this is a member of a certain content type that we all want to theme in a particular way, then we can use node hyphen hyphen article or the content type that we want to theme.tpl.php. But again, note that this will override any theming for any nodes that are of the article type. Let's give this a try with a specific node ID. To begin, go to a node page. Something that begins with node slash and then the number would work. However, if you're using aliases, this might look a little different and you'll have to find the node ID by doing something like hovering over the edit tab and looking at the bottom of the browser to see what the node ID is. And then what we'll do is go ahead and create a node template called node-47. Jump to your theme directory and copy the node.tpl.php file and duplicate it. And we're going to name this node-47.tpl.php. Go ahead and jump back to the browser. In order to register this new template, we need to flush our caches. So I'm going to do that, which will rebuild the theme registry. And now we can test to see whether our new node template is being used. We can either modify the node template directly or use the theme developer module. So I'm clicking here in this checkbox, and then I'm going to click on our node. And up here in our data, I'm gonna jump up to the node. And you see here that we're using the template in our bat overrides theme, and it's node-47, which is perfect.